Question 17, the diagram shows the structure of an atom. So this is one way to model an atom with all the electrons around the outside and the nucleus in the middle with the neutrons and protons contained in it. Complete the sentence by putting a cross in the box next to your answer. The size of the charge on each electron, the size of the charge on each electron is a third of the charge on the proton, half the charge on the proton, the same as the charge on the proton, or twice the charge on the proton. Well, you might remember that neutrons have zero charge, protons are positive, and electrons are negative. So the amount of charge, if this is plus one, that's minus one. So it's the same amount, just the opposite sign. So it's the same as the charge on the proton, it's going to be C there. For the second part, the atomic number so that's the atomic number on a neutral atom is always the same as the number of electrons, electrons and neutrons, protons and neutrons, or neutrons. Deceptively easy question, deceptively tricky question. It's not as easy as it first appears. A neutral atom. So let's say we have um, one, two, three protons. One, two, three, uh, three, three neutrons and three protons. In our nucleus and around the outside we only have one, two, three electrons. So this is a neutral atom because the protons and the neutrons are equal. What else is the atomic number? So the atomic number is the number of protons. But if you look here, hang on a second, we haven't got that as an answer because we're actually told a second bit of advice. It's a neutral atom. So in a neutral atom, the protons is going to be equal to the number of electrons. Because if these are, posit these are positive, these are negative, they've got to cancel each other out. So we've got the same number. So in a neutral atom, we have the same number of electrons and protons, and it's the protons that determine the atomic number. So it's going to be electrons. A.